Hi everyone. I hope you're all having a blessed today. This is Laura and I would like to share with you part two of I Killed My Paper Stack. Some projects that I made with that paper stack. Now if you did watch my previous video then you would um, see that I have been working on killing a paper stack and some of you may have seen the paper collection may have not unfortunately I don't have any more of that paper collection but a few pieces and I'll share that with you um, but if you want to know what the paper pad looks like um, you might want to watch the previous video where I showed the paper stack um, but it's the penny paper pads that they were selling at Michael's and I was fortunate and blessed enough that I was gifted some um, I believe I had I was gifted two of them and then on top of that my cousin Yuka went and picked one up for me one day at Michael's she found them for a penny but I think she said she only found one or two paper pads um, so I decided since I forward one I kept one I would actually kill the other one and just use it all up and in my previous video I made some cards and on this video I decided to make some something altered with it and I decided to go with paper bags um, the reason I love altering the paper bags so much is um, I have been blessed um, on YouTube with so many wonderfully generous um, scrappy sisters and every now and then I have the ability to send a few goodies their way to say thank you for all their love and generosity and their sharing and their support a lot of times it's just you know leaving comments or joining challenges and stuff like that um, so I thought the altered paper bag is a really nice way to send along some goodies and they do work as goodie bags but also to give a little piece of ourselves with a project that was handmade and it doesn't take a lot of space in the envelope so I can fit more goodies which I love as well and plus I just like making them guys <laughs> I think they're lots of fun and let me show you what the paper bag looks like I just use these white paper bags you can find them in any 99 cent store, Walmart, Kmart, um, Targets, uh, candy stores, grocery stores. They're not hard to find at all. Even Michaels and Joann's has the um, Celebrate bags. Um, I was lucky enough to find these years ago. They were just plain old candy bags or lunch bags. And this one actually measures seven and three quarters by four. So it's a nice size and I find that they were perfect for my mixed media dolls because they were the perfect size. They're about the size of a gift tag as you can see there um, and they, they fit just right. So I was happy to be able to play some more with my Prima mixed media doll stamps and create something altered for someone else to share with someone else as well. And I was also happy that it gave me the opportunity to play with blues and yellows, which I don't do too often. So let me explain to you real quick what I did. Um, as you can see here, I did color in my mixed media doll. And before I get started, I did spray her and cover her with um, sprays as well as the bag. And what I used uh, for this project was I used um, my Glimmer Mist sweet clover I also used lemon meringue and I also used Tuscan Sun and moonlight and I love this color guys this is one of my all-time favorite blue colors by glimmer mist and for Lindy starburst sprays I did use the delphinium turquoise which is one of my favorite Lindy's blue colors as well as the Tibetan poppy teal and this is such a pretty bright teal their starburst stains are the more shimmery and they actually ink the best in my opinion but that's just my opinion I just love the Lindy's the best um, so 
what I did was I covered the bag with some cardstock. And as you can see, I have several different layers here. Um, I fussy cut it that border. This is actually, oh, please forgive my fingernails, guys. I have been crafting away and my nails are nasty. <laughs> uh, so I'll just take variety out to show you. This is actually a Martha Stewart paper punch. And this is actually two pieces of laces that I just hot glued onto the top of my bag. And to my little doll, I just paper pieced her with that paper stack. I also colored her hair and I didn't want to do pro too much of a um, too much coloring because I wanted it to be more of a tinted and paper pieced effect look so I left the hair like that um, and I just inked the skin on the dolls um, I have a Martha Stewart butterfly punch that I added some rhinestones to I have some tool that I gathered um, in front of a paper doily, which I colored with my glimmer mist, as you can see there. I have this mother of pearl button here that was gifted to me by Jackie, who's scrapping Latina here on YouTube. And I just love, love, love my mother of pearl buttons. I also sprayed it, and I don't know if you can see that, but it actually held the color. And you can see like little specks still on it. Um, this is just a little piece of scrap paper from a Kay and Company collection that I used that was left over. These are my Prima flowers that I added some bling to. And here I have a button that I added some bling to. Behind here I have some leaves, um, a ribbon that I put in the center. Down on the bottom, oh, and here is another leaf. Down on the bottom, I have another Prima flower that I added a button to. Um, a little birdie charm that I added. I added some stickles to her shoes and her dress. And down here, I just fussy cut some of these um, designs from the paper. And again, under here is the Martha Stewart punch that I used. Um, there. And then on the back of the card, and I'm waiting for the camera to focus, I have here a piece of paper. Um, just cut a little border strip there. Um, that's also from the paper collection. Again, my Martha Stewart border punch here. And if anyone wants to know the name of this punch, just message me in the comment section. I'll be happy to get that information for you. Um, I have another ribbon that I tied in a bow here. And this will be the little card that I will um, write my little note in to whoever receives this. This is a die cut, which I added some of my metallic. I outlined with my metallic um, markers. And I have another Martha Stewart butterfly that I just added some flat back pearls to. And the ribbon. And just a pretty little plain card. And then to the bottom of this, I have a um, Spellbinders um, Circle Doily Punch that I have. Um, and I just stamped the word thank you on there. This is an Inka Dinka Do stamp that I have. Um, and another Inka Dinka Do stamp with some um, birds and flowers that I stamped on. Another Prima Flower with a pearl. I have some lace here. That I put behind there and that's it for this bag and then for this bag um, pretty much the same thing I added some bling on top I have some laces underneath the layer of laces here I have some more navy blue lace a few layers of that border punch and I have, again, the little fussy cut doll. Again, didn't color her. Didn't want to do that. I just wanted her to look like a um, the, uh, paper piece tinted dolly. Just colored her with um, weathered wood and scattered straw. I distressed her with the Tim Holtz inks. Um, to the background, I don't know if you can see this, but this is actually a photo um, 
a card topper frame that I got from the Kanban um, card toppers and I decided to use it um, as a background piece and then what I did was I put stuff underneath it to make it look like collage so we have a ticket here a little note here we have some flowers a butterfly and some leaf sprays here um, a little circle atlas here another fussy cut piece of paper flower from the paper collection here I have some more branches and a um, butterfly there and then under here I have I don't know if you can see this hold on this is another little ticket there um, and it's actually a little tag that says uh, do it yourself you're special you know little words of encouragement there I have some blue lace that I tucked under here and then over here I have one of these spellbinders shapes that I added some bling to and I paint it white I don't know if you can see that and I added some prima flowers and this is one of the flowers that was gifted to me by one of my scrappy sisters and I believe Louise was the one that um forward these to me um, thank you Louise and I sprayed the background paper again with all my Lindy's and I just hot glued everything together and this was also gifted to me by Jackie um, thank you Jackie and this little pocketbook here that I used this is a die cut this was gifted to me by Silver Mackenzie here on YouTube thank you Silver now to her bag I added some uh, a little heart charm to the center just to make the bag look like it had a little latch I added some of that mesh bling and I also added some of this navy blue trim and I added some more butterflies with rhinestone and then to her little shoe I also added a little rhinestone another prima flower and I also added a cherry blossom um, from wild orchids crafts that I had in my stash as well underneath here I have two pieces of paper that I cut out this border on and just glued it to the bottom and then for the back of the card I have this beautiful trim um, that I can't remember where I got it from to be quite honest and I just ran this um, satin ribbon through it again I just used a border punch here I sprayed the papers and that acts as a little pocket for my little card that I have here and then this little card oh my god my fingernails really are disgusting I'm so sorry guys I have not had the chance to do it this is why I don't paint my nails but my daughter wanted to do them so um, I have a little thank you note here and I just fussy cut um, the papers that was on one of the pattern papers the flowers rather that was on one of the pattern papers and I just added some bling I fussy cut again this little message note and the little birdie and it just has script on it and this all came from the paper collection and I also have the little um, butterflies and it's just a little plain little card to write a note in and when we open it and I just love the pretty colors on these papers and that's it right there like that and that will just tuck into the little pocket and as you can see I glimmer misted everything and I just added a few little flowers again I fussy cut the um, big flower and I tucked it in here and then I just added some lace some sequins and a piece of the designer paper as a border now I was gonna try to create a bag oh before I do that let me show you what was left over after I did everything and I did save some papers on purpose I have this piece of paper left I have this piece of paper left uh, so what I was gonna do is I was gonna create another bag I have this left and I was gonna try to do it on camera so I think what I'm gonna do instead because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this I have this paper here 
I have I'm gonna show you everything that was left over and then I am going to try to make the bag for you guys another bag and that's why I have that little girl who's not done I have this left so I plan to use these papers and this one and I really don't throw anything away because I can always use that as uh, for butterflies um, I have these little border strips here that are left over I also have some of these birdies that I decided to save because I can fussy cut that for the text or the birds or just that color so you can see I still have a piece of this and I have a piece of this oh wait this is not part of this collection this is from another project um, and I have a piece of this paper and this paper I have a doily which I am going to incorporate in this project I have some baby back baby blue flat back pearls I'm gonna incorporate I have this pretty yellow rickrack that I'm going to use I also plan to use this gold flower trim and this yellow flower trim now that's not to say that everything you see here is actually going to go on the bag I this is just the products that I pulled that I would like to use on the bag um, that I just showed and I have this navy blue lace and this navy blue pearl trim I have some white lace and some tiny little baby lace I also have this eyelet doily lace um, I have this rosette and this is just left over everything that I took out and I put in front of me when I decided to make these cards and the paper bags I have this eyelet trim with some I'm, I'm sorry this white eyelet lace trim with yellow on it and then I have this teeny tiny little baby lace I don't know if you can see that and I have this beautiful beautiful lace here this was also gifted to me I have some of this lace here I have this beautiful um, organza sheer ribbon looks yellowish so I decided to pull that I have this baby blue satin trim from my stash I also have this very pretty scallop trim here that I plan to use um, I have some bling here and I also have another one of those um, wild orchid crafts cherry blossoms that I kind of squished on the bottom of my paper stack but I'll fix that I have some fibers and these are some of the flowers I will be incorporating and some leaves and I have some prima flowers some silk flowers some rosettes some acrylic flowers I have this um, little trim here that has these little flowers with pearls on them I have this yellow flower that I just finished um, staining with my glimmer mist sprays I have this other very pretty flower I have this yellow um, acrylic flower another yellow acrylic flower with some bling I have these little dew drops and I have not used them yet and I would like to use them if I can another piece of trim this is just leftovers leftovers and a whole bunch of um, leaves and more silk flowers and then I also have left over this piece of trim here it has all these pretty little pearls on them and I just might color this I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it white yet and I have all these little charms here to incorporate in this project so the reason I showed you this was I'm not too sure yet if I'm gonna be able to do the bag on camera or not but I figured if I showed you everything that I plan to use on it and maybe um, do the bag in steps if I can't do it the other way 
that might be nice but I do want to plan I, I'm hoping I'm trying to get to a point with my videos where you can I actually can show you how um, my work um, a process video so I am working on that I I hope I can do it <laughs> if I can like I said I'll just show you the steps so this is what was left over from my paper stack there is nothing left I may have even stolen one or two sheets from another paper stack but uh, I'm gonna get busy working on this um, paper bag um, I'm gonna hope that I can do it the way I want if not you'll just see a bag um, in different steps different levels as I decorate it I hope you liked the video and my little paperback projects I hope this encourages more of us to kill a paper stack <laughs> so find a paper stack in your collection one that maybe was gifted to you and you have more than one or maybe a paper stack a little six by six paper stack you've been holding on to forever for no apparent reason or maybe it's a 12 by 12 stack that you just haven't been able to part with or put your hands on um, in any case I want to encourage and challenge all my subbies out there get a paper stack and kill it <laughs> and if you do do a video response for me who knows maybe you might win a little something hint 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 or maybe there'll be a treat in it for you hint 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 um, in any case Let's see how many of you guys can kill a paper stack. Hope you're all having a blessed Sunday and I will talk to you soon. Thank you all for watching. Bye now.